Welcome to the Week 9 edition of the 5th Down. I'm Jeff Kolb. I'm Shannon McGrath and Mayo traveling to undefeated Alcona tonight in a matchup of two playoff teams. Yes, the Tigers and Thunderbolts each winning their respective North Star League divisions, making tonight's clash as close to an NSL title game as you could ask for. Alcona hoping to make history on homecoming by finishing the regular season undefeated for the first time ever and it showed early. Quarterback Cody Franklin keeping the rock and turning the corner. Tiger fans accustomed to seeing this. Out corner striking first for an 8-0 lead. Mayo looking to counter, but the ball comes loose. Dawson Forsythe recovers the fumble, and Franklin gets back to work, finding the tiptoeing Josh Mead, as you can see here, along the sidelines. A few plays later, Nathan Fettis capping off the drive with a two-yard TD burst. Tigers leading Mayo now 16 to zip. Thunderbolts decide, hey, let's go to the air. Meade turning that into a bad decision. He intercepts Bradley Rhodes. Carson Jameson falling on it for Alcona. That set up part two of the Nathan Fettis show. The Tiger tailback's going to break loose up the middle for another TD. Alcona fans just loving it. Tigers upping their lead to 24-0. Final minute before the half. Mayo finally getting on the board. Sean Obermiller bringing in Rhodes' pass in the back of the end zone. Tigers dominating this one though, downing the Thunderbolts 50 to 12, completing the first perfect regular season in Altona history. In other NSL action, Hillman hosting Hale looking for its fifth win of the season. Ty Jones losing some yards early on, but the very next play, Kenny Culkin makes up for it, can canning his way into the end zone giving the Tigers the 8-0 lead. Hale looking for its first first down, but Mike Klein has different plans, dodging two, three, four, and while we're at it, five defenders for a Hillman score, putting the Tigers up 15. Kyle Kiley connecting with Nathan Barnes for an Eagles first down, setting Hale up for this touchdown with a minute left in quarter one. But as the second begins, Josh Reinbold show he knows how to dip, duck, dive, and dodge as well as anyone running 50 yards in Hillman's 48-7 win over Hale, improving the Tigers to 5-4 on the season. In other NSL action, Augre Sims closing the regular season with its second win of the year, 49-30 over Oscoda. Brett Mazur running all over the field for the Wolverines, racking up 253 yards and three touchdowns on the ground. And in non-league action, Whittemore Prescott hanging tough at Reese, but the Cardinals fall 41-26. Travis McDonald rushed for 210 yards and three scores for Whittemore. The Cardinals already had a playoff spot clinched, though. In Ski Valley action, Joburg extending its winning streak to six games. The Cardinals finish the regular season at 7-2 and two and will move on to the postseason in tonight's 63-19 win over Pelston. Onaway was in Pickford, but unfortunately we do not have that score for you. Down south, Tawas hanging tough with Standish through three quarters tonight, entering the fourth trailing by one, but the Panthers pull away late, downing the Braves 47-27. Ending tonight in eight-man action, the Posen Vikings falling on the road 42-6 to Owen, Owendale Gageton. Nick Hinska finished with 130 yards in the Lone Vikes TD. Welcome back. This football season hasn't gone in favor of Alpena, which only won its first game of the season. Tonight, the Wildcats were back on home turf, looking to end their season like they started, hosting Gaylord under the big lights. The Blue Devils getting two scores with a minute left in the first half, but Alpena's Brady Marweed finds Tyler Pintar, putting the Cats on the board 13-6. Halfway through the third, Steven Fitzek going long this time, connecting with Jack Torque. Gaylord turns the ball over on downs, allowing Pintar to pass off to Jordan Ferguson, who jumps over the D for the extra yardage. And a few plays later, Pintar going in for his second score of the game, tying it at 13. In the final four minutes, Gaylord regains the lead, ending its 22-game losing streak on Alpena's watch as the Wildcats fall 2013 in their season finale. Roger City hosting Alpena. Quick bump session here, chest bump session here from the Huskies, and then it was all business. Already up at TD, Atlanta's Jacob Chambers weaving through the Roger City D, and nobody's going to catch him. He goes all the way. Huskies increasing their lead to 16 zip. After Alcona forces an interception, Husky quarterback Taylor Jurgens rolls out to the left and throws on the Jets, motoring his way for a nice gain. 
Josh Barrett showing his strength here a few plays later, pushing into the end zone. Huskies dominating 22-0. But the Hurons come to life. Kelly Quinton lobbing for Chris Lopez, and he's got it. Then Lopez says, keep feeding me the rock, coach. He throws the stiff arm and sprints down the field before a few Alpena defenders find him and take him down here. Jacob Maloka doing the rest, hitting the gap to get the Hurons on the board. Atlanta just too much offense for Roger City, though, winning convincingly 55-6. to 6. 